Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Campfire Plus. So this is a really cool plugin which allows you to create these campfires and use them to cook food. So the great thing about this is they don't last forever. As you saw, this one disappeared. So um, they have to rebuild them after a certain amount of time, which is uh, realistic. So how do we create one? Well, what we need is some oak wood. So once you have that, go into your crafting bench and fill out a three by three slot covering all the um, blocks and this will give you a fire log so once you have got the fire log you can grab your flint and steel like this um, just pop it down anywhere where you want the fire and right click it so um, obviously you can't go around spamming them so let's wait seven seconds before we right click it again and it will create a campfire like that so once you have this let me just pop this back in here uh, we can actually cook food on it so if I left click, you can see all these eight slots and you can fill it with food, uh, however many you have, and click um, the blaze powder at the end and you will hear a sound effect and there we go, we have the cooked food, which is really cool. So I like the fact that it disappears after a certain amount of time, that's pretty realistic and um, all the sound effects, which is really, really cool. Um, there are lots of things you can edit in the config, so I will open that now. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, here we go. So, um, let's go in the config file first. That is a good place to start. And um, up here, you can actually change the recipe to get the fire log, and you can actually change the name. So, um, you could do something uh, clever here, and instead of being a fire log, you could make uh, maybe campfire uh, starter kit or something. That's actually quite a good idea. Starter kit. Give it a different item. Um, it would make sense that um, it's something that will catch on fire because um, that would make sense. But you could make nether rack. Well, what is nether rack? I don't know my IDs, but nether rack, whatever ID it is. So one, one, two, maybe and L, so you can change the shape, which is really cool. You could add more ingredients. Um, so let's go here and add N, uh, colon, and maybe 20, which is glass. So put an N in the middle, and it would be wood surrounded by glass, and that would give you item 112. So you could mess around with this however much you want. And obviously you can change the law, add colors. Instead of the and sign, you have this weird uh, percentage sign. I'm not actually sure what that is. Um, but yeah, just add a 4 there. You could make it bold by doing that sign and an L. Um, down here you can um, change the amount of time that it is alight for. As you can see in game, they've both disappeared because it's been more than uh, two minutes. No, oh, don't, don't read, don't do that. Uh, so we're back here. You can change the cook message. You can change the cooldown time. And yeah, there we go. That's really, really cool. So you can only have two at once. I'd probably change that to one, maybe. And then if we go into the cooldowns, you can um, have a look at all the players and how many fires they have. So I wouldn't um, change that at all. Uh, and here you can see the messages um, that there is. I wouldn't change that either. So the best place to edit things is in the config, and if you know what you're doing, you can mess around the messages and whatnot. So yeah, that is the plugin. Um, you can get it from Spigot. It is a premium plugin, but uh, it's really cool. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.